We have a local brewery here in um, town, a microbrewery, and I emailed them asking them what they did with all their spent grains because I figured I could use some for compost. And right now they just have one person that they're giving it to, the only person that's really asked about it. Um, he's picking it up whenever they brew and he's giving it to their um, cows to feed. So they told me, yeah, sure. You know, whenever we have some, you can grab a couple five gallon buckets full and we'll give the rest to him since he asked about it. I'm like, sure, great. And just let me know if he's not ever able to um, pick any up, I can get all of it. And they said, yeah, for sure. So I just went and got uh, my first pickup today. I got these two five gallon buckets full of spent grain and it smells like, I don't know. I mean, I guess some people would like it. I'm not really, I don't really like the taste of beer. So maybe people that like the taste of beer like how this smells, but it's kind of like musky smelling. Um, I'm gonna give a little bit to my chickens as, huh, apparently the kitty likes it too. But I'm gonna give a little bit to the chickens as a treat and then the rest I'm gonna put in my compost. And this is my composting system right here. And um, we have three, um, like little areas. My husband just built this really simply out of um, pallets and then just put old fence boards on the front just to keep everything in and keep the kids out of it. But basically this one over here, I just put big stuff in that we need to break up later, cut it up, whatever, into smaller pieces just to get, clear it out of the yard. We just trimmed the um, rosemary bush, it's huge. I should take a picture of it. Um, but we needed to trim it to move the fence a little bit. And so we put all that in there until we can chop it up smaller. This first bin had a bunch of stuff in it for the longest and we just um, cleared it out and used all the compost that was in it to refill the beds. That are over here, I just have done these two beds so far because the rest will have stuff um, producing in them. But um, So we just recently started adding, that's why you can see some scraps in there. I need to cut that, uh, break down that box. but. I just threw it in there for now, and you can see there's some paper scraps in there, some uh, shredded paper, some old leaves. Um, this one over here has been going the uh, longest now since we just got rid of the first one, or used the first one. So for now I'm just going to let this one sit, I'm not going to add anything else to it. Um, I'm just going to let it be, turn it, water it, whatever, and it should break down fairly quickly that way. So now I'm going to start adding everything back into this one, so that's where those grains are going to go. Um, in just a second, but let's give some to the chickens and see if they like it. I think they will. Over here, some purple cabbage that's left. Brussels sprouts. The Brussels sprouts never really took off, so I don't know. There's still there's some few little ones on the bottom, but I just feel like they should have got taller and they didn't, so I don't really know why. And here's some purple carrots and some red carrots that my kids ask to pick every day, but they're not ready yet. They're just babies. But here's some chickens. Let's see if they like this grain. Do they like it? Looks like they do. So that's a little treat for the day. But yeah, with uh, microbrewing becoming so popular, at least it is here in California, um, you should check out your local brewery and see if they have some extra grain. Or, of course they're going to have extra grain, but what do they do with it? Maybe they're composting it themselves, maybe they're already giving it away, but get on their list and see if you could get some. Either for feed for your animals or compost for your garden.